Businesses that provide goods can choose from four different types of production processes. Job production, batch production, flow production or cell production. Job production is when a business produces a one-off item for a customer. Examples of job production include pottery, paintings, creating an advertising campaign and making a tailor-made suit. With job production, all products are created individually. It is used when orders for products are small and at times a startup business may use this method. With job production, the product being produced is to the exact requirements of what the customer wants. This method means that production is organised so that one job is completed at a time. Because the number of items produced is small, the production tends to be labour intensive. The workforce tends to be made up of skilled workers or specialists. This often means that the items they are producing are of high quality, which will then lead to increased customer satisfaction. Advantages of job production Products are usually high quality because the workers are skilled. The products can be made to meet the needs of individual customers. Workers may be motivated as they are able to start a job and finish it and be able to see that they have produced or helped to produce high quality work. There are disadvantages to job production. The cost of production at times will be high. In addition, the labour costs may be high as the business is paying specialist and skilled staff to complete these jobs. Time must also be spent with the customers to find out their requirements, meet their needs, and it is a very labour-intensive process. Just a reminder to like, share and subscribe, as I do post regularly. Batch production. This involves producing a set number of identical items. The amount of products in the batch can vary. It may be 12, maybe 50, maybe hundreds. It's dependent on the business and what they're actually producing. Examples of when batch production is used as a method of production is for furniture, newspapers and bakeries, amongst other things. Batch production may be used when demand for a business's products is regular and not just a one-off. This is when a particular operation is carried out on a group of identical products or batch of products. The batch then moves to the next operation. So in effect, all products will pass through the same production process. In a bakery, bakers would use batch production. They may make a batch of a particular type of bread and then switch production to make a batch of a different type of bread. Many products are produced using this method particularly in manufacturing, such as the production of components. Advantages of batch production. The needs of different customers can be met by producing batches of different goods. There are lower unit costs as output is higher. It may be possible to use specialist machines and to automate production, then costs are saved. Workers are likely to specialize in one part of the process which means they can develop a level of expertise in this, which may also lead to increased productivity, as this is now an area that they're able to specialise in. Disadvantages of batch production. Staff may be less motivated as the process is quite repetitive. Workers may start to feel bored and this may lead to quality issues of the products. Another disadvantage is that it takes time to switch production from a batch of one product to a different batch. Machinery may need to be reset and this adds to taking up time and also the cost of production and it may reduce output. And finally, there will usually be less choice of products for customers to choose from in comparison to the likes of job production. Flow production involves a continuous production of a standard product. Flow production often uses an assembly line and involves producing a large number of identical products. It is organised so that different operations are completed at different stages.
the job moves on to the next without stopping. It is a continuous process of parts, passing on from one stage to another until completion. Workers will tend to be working at various stages of the process. It is sometimes called mass production, as it tends to be used for the mass production of many standardised products. Advantages of flow production Large amounts of products can be made. This means that there is a higher level of output. It also means that they're able to benefit from purchasing economies of scale. Machinery can be used, which would help to keep costs low. And finally, specialised labour with low level of skills is needed. Disadvantages of flow production. There are very high setup costs, as the technology that is required is very costly. Another disadvantage is that jobs on the production line may become quite repetitive and boring for workers. This may lead to workers feeling demotivated and that might also lead to a high labour turnover. And finally, large stocks of materials may have to be kept to keep the assembly line supplied and this may be expensive. Cell production. Cell production is also known as cellular manufacturing and is a form of flow production. It means dividing the workplace into cells and setting up a small production line or group working process so that products can be produced quite flexibly. The members of a cell, the workers, work in a team to achieve targets and ensure quality standards are met. An example of cell production is car manufacturing, where different teams would have an input at different stages of the production process. There is a single flow with this process and workers in teams are responsible for certain parts of the production process. This means that team members are skilled at a number of roles and, and job rotation is possible. Each cell is responsible for the quality in its area. Advantages of cell production. The cells are working closely together, so team working is very much encouraged with this type of production which can offer long-term benefits. Good quality products are going to be produced as cells have been working together to ensure there is a good level of quality throughout the process. Cell production was designed to improve efficiency and productivity. Within the teams, the cells are communicating with each other and they're able to discuss any issues and also improve quality which might lead to an improvement in efficiency and productivity. Disadvantages of cell production. The process may become complex if there isn't a good level of organisation between the cells. Cell production requires workers to be skilled to complete the specific tasks required in that cell. Therefore, the business may have to invest in more training which would increase costs. Do check out these two videos that will show on the screen as these are the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thanks for watching.